Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rabir. I hope you're all well. So today we're looking at a brand new product from Victory Amplification. As some of you may know, I work in the kind of R&D team of Victory. Not like a full-time job, but I, I'll, I will go in and help with the sort of ideas and the, the sound of some of the amplifiers, especially things like the Kraken, which helped design with Martin, uh, and some of the other high-gain rock and metal amplifiers. But I also get sometimes asked my opinion on some of the cleaner stuff, not because I, I mean, I'm not really known for playing a lot of clean stuff but I, I like you know all those kind of tones as well and so I like to have it's nice to share my opinion with the team um, but one of the cool things aside from obviously Martin being so good at what he does is sometimes projects get taken on different you know different groups of people within the Victory R&D team and this is one of those times where something got taken on I kind of knew it was coming out uh, but I didn't know when and what it was going to end up being like so it's really cool and exciting for me to get to share this with you guys as well because I was kind of like Oh, it's here, it's here now. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you one of the brand new amplifiers. This is the Victory Duchess V4 guitar amplifier. So if you know anything about the Victory V4 preamps, you'll know that they are these awesome all tube preamp pedals that you can put in the return of your guitar amplifier and basically turn it into one of the Victory V4 pedals. So like we did the Kraken V4, so you can basically turn like a Fender Twin into a Kraken using that in the return. It seemed like a natural progression that Victory would bring out a powered version of the V4 pedal preamps. And so the first iteration of that is this awesome Duchess V4 guitar amp. The Duchess V4 guitar amp is 180 watts. It's an all valve preamp. It has reverb and tremolo on board. It weighs only 1.7 kilograms or 3.75 pounds. It's got a series effects loop, a direct out. You can use it with or without a speaker load so you don't have to worry about blowing anything up. And of course, it's great if you're at home, you're on stage or in the studio because of course it kind of handles all of those things. Another cool thing that Victory decided to do was release a cabinet to go with this to allow you to use it to its full potential. So they brought out a sort of oversized 1x12 in the same sort of cream color as the normal Duchess cab, but it features a neodymium speaker. So the cabinet is the Victory V112 Neo. It's got a 250 watts at RMS, uh, Celestian Copperback. So that's the neodymium speaker. Um, and it, it weighs really not very much. It's 13 and a half kilos. So you can use that. You can basically, you've got the, the V4 guitar amp and the cab. You're really, really loud because it is really loud at four ohms. Um, and your pedal board. You can kind of go around playing shows of all sizes with a rig like that. You can also use a foot switch to control the tremolo, which of course is uh, synonymous with the Duchess uh, amplifiers. Three band EQ, nice powerful EQ, so bass, middle and treble. You've got your single, ch it's a single channel, single volume, so of course ride that volume to get more um, preamp saturation, so you can, you can drive that a little bit. You've got a master volume, then you've got your tremolo depth, your tremolo speed. And of course, we've got a built-in digital reverb as well. So really, they've thought of everything with this. My favorite feature, aside from obviously it being compact and awesome, is that it's powered with a normal IEC, but it also has a nine volt DC out, which is really, really cool at 500 milliamps max. So you can power pedals off this as well, which is really, really cool and very thoughtful. So that's sick. And also it has a little fan in the side so it doesn't get too hot. So really, it feels nice and rugged, proper like 
well-built box. You could have this on your pedal board along with say like a two notes Cab M or uh, the Cab Zeus or from GFI or whatever it is. And that'd be your amp and cab. And then you can run your entire pedal effects. So like reverb and delays and boosts and drives as you would a normal guitar amp. So in this video, we're going to be trying a few different guitars. I've decided to plug a couple of pedals in the front so you can hear how it sounds with pedals in the front. And we'll use a couple of different speaker models with the Ox, including some built-in uh, reverb and delay from the Ox later on in the video so you can hear both. But yeah, man, I'm really excited to check out what this sounds like. And yeah, without further ado, let's check out the Duchess V4 guitar amp. Okay, so I've got my guitar. I figured we'd start with a Strat. It seemed like the most appropriate place to begin. Um, the Duchess, everything I've set to 12 o'clock, so the EQ, the channel volume, and the master and everything. So we've got a sort of good foundation to go with. As I said before, normally with a single channel, all tube head, high headroom kind of vibe, um, you could use, you could turn down the channel volume and boost the master to get that, a little bit of power amp saturation and get that high headroom clean thing. Um, although it kind of still will work in the same way, obviously it's a solid state power section, so you don't really want to get the solid state power amp saturation thing. Really, we just want to hear what it's like when we roll down the channel volume to see how well, well it cleans up. Other than that, uh, we'll introduce a reverb shortly, and I'm just going to show you. The cab is the JBG125112 from the Ox, one of the new ones. I figured that was nice. We've also got a 4x12 um, to AB, the difference in speaker sound. And this is the neck pickup of the strap straight in. Here we go. Right, it's a lovely clean sound. Let's bring in the reverb. Sounds really nice, that digital reverb, it's toppy, but it's nice. It's got a spank and a, and a sheen. So far, I think it's a great straight up clean tone. Reminds me a lot of the Duchess, which is of course a very good thing. And everything at 12 o'clock means, you know, it's well tuned. I like when amps, you just leave it at 12 and it sounds great. And the reverb is nice. It's toppier than I would normally dial in, but it works and it, I think it sounds really good. Next, I think what we'll probably do is show you the tremolo real fast. So obviously this is foot switchable, um, but I can just press it here on the top of the pedal and this is what we're gonna get. which sounds really nice. And of course, that's with the depth really low, so. I like it to sound more like it's just pulsating underneath um, rather than it being quite a square edge kind of sound. Um, but it's great. That's probably where I'd set it for me. Maybe a touch faster, a bit more reverb.
Yeah, it's really nice. So that's what the tremolo does, and of course the reverb. So next, um, I'm going to back off the master, and then I'm going to boost the volume so you can hear how you start to get that preamp uh, saturation going on. So let's back that down. A little bit pokey. Uh, let's back off the treble, boost the mid. So it really does sound great. It's immersive, and I like that you can boost the reverb all the way. And I mean, my taste in how much reverb to use in a single may be quite different to everyone else's, but for me, that is not too much. There's a lovely amount of sustain when you boost that uh, channel volume. It really does sound great. Uh, let's boost the treble back off the mid a bit. So yeah, feels great, really nice, well tuned. But I always feel like that with Victory stuff because Martin's such a great guitar player that he tests everything, he's gonna feel that it's right, you know? So yeah, digging it. Um, so lastly, before we start moving into other areas, different guitars, I'm just gonna boost the channel volume all the way up, back off the reverb. This is what you can expect. <laughs> So that's the kind of level of gain you'll expect from this, uh, the Duchess pedal. I mean, it's not a gain amplifier, it's a single channel, single master amplifier as it stands. So you can push the channel volume to give you a bit of breakup, but that's really not what it's about. Really, you can use this with pedals, which is what we're gonna do next. I would like to throw on a couple of different pedals. I've got the Origin Effects Revival Drive uh, Compact, which of course, some of you will know, and others will say, that's a really expensive pedal. I'm also gonna use the Wild Fro from Tone City, which is on the other end of the spectrum and it's 45 quid. And the idea is to show you that it's a great pedal platform, but also depending on the kind of pedals you've got in your house or in your pedal board, how it's gonna react. So something at the top end of the price range and something right at the bottom. So we're also gonna change guitars. Gonna use the Tele next, so let's try that out. Okay, so now I've got the Tele um, and I decided to change the cab up. So we're using a 412 now, so we'll hear a little bit more low end warmth and stuff. It's actually a, a, a vintage 30 loaded 412 model, 
but I find it really works well with clean um, and I'm using a ribbon and a dynamic microphone um, to, to help with that, give it a little bit more warmth. I'm going to use a revival drive first and other than that the only thing I'd say is of course with the Duchess um, the V4 guitar amp you've got an effects loop in there so you can plug your own pedal boards into it as well. In this instance I'm actually going to use some built in uh, to the aux reverb and delay it works in the same way as an effects loop so the way that you'll hear it blended in with the sound is if it was in an effects loop and it was a pedal. So with all that in mind let's give it a go. All right, so blended pickup sound, both pickups, and I'm using the reverb and delay from the aux, so in the loop, as it were, this is what we've got. So immediately with reverb and delay to give it the width in a stereo application, uh, it sounds really, really nice. And again, that's pushing the channel volume a little bit just to give us a bit of breakup, but it really does sound really nice. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in the Origin FX Revival Drive Compact. And I've already got it preset, so it's not really about this pedal, but I'll show you what it sounds like together. That sounds so good. Just going to turn off the reverb, put some back on the Duchess. And we can we can back off the treble a little bit, boost the low end. Feels great to play. That sounds really good. I'm well into that. It's just got a spank to it, you know? sounds so good. I'm well into that, that spanky neck pickup feel.
Yeah, immediately just feels comfortable. There's like a nice amount of like uh, compression to it. Um, it handles the pedal really, really, really well. I'm well into that. Uh, right, let's try a different guitar and mess with the controls a bit more. Okay, I thought we'd try the Leslie. Everything's at 12 EQ wise. Uh, and yeah, this is how it sounds with the Revival Drive in. <laughs> That sounds great. Let's back off a little bit of mid, boost the gain on the revival drive. That is a great low gain rock tone. Really into that. I'm going to push the gain some more. Oh. So the Les Paul with the Revival Drive into the Duchess sounds so good. I'm well into that. So it's clearly handling uh, pedals running into the front of it, especially, obviously, it's the way it was designed originally, so I'm not surprised. But we know the uh, Origin FX is a really great sounding pedal. It's also really expensive. So let's throw the Wild Fro in front and see what happens there. Okay, so on the complete other end of the spectrum, I've plugged the Wild Throw in from Tone City. This is a 45 quid pedal, and it was designed to be like a high gain, well, mid to high gain, um, kind of almost like American chewy high gain. So it's not as defined as you kind of Marshall high presence uh, pedals, much like the Origin. But anyway, let's have a listen. It's on a more gain setting, uh, gain at halfway. Uh, this is what we've got before. <laughs> Bridge pickup. Sounds great. Here we go. Wild throw. So there's clearly a difference in the pedals, of course. Um, however, I figured that the Wild Throw was a good example because it's right at the bottom end of, of budget. You know, it's 45 quid. It's a high gain pedal. This is like a, you know, a clean, bluesy kind of vibe. But it's still, you know, it sounds pretty decent. I think if I was to add reverb and delay, do more lead stuff, it would even come into its own some more. <laughs> So there's an example using a 45 pound pedal and a 400 pound pedal into the Duchess uh, V4 guitar amp. And I, I still think, you know, it handles everything that's been put in front of it really well. And of course, using a different cabinet as well has changed the characteristic quite a bit. Lastly, I'm going to grab the Gretsch Penguin and we'll have a listen to how that thing sounds through this. So we're going to do that now. <laughs>
Well, hopefully that kind of sums up what I tried to achieve with this video. Uh, the Duchess V4 guitar amplifier, in my opinion, is a great addition to the Victory family. Um, just because there are people that travel around, there are people on a tighter budget, there are people that don't have a lot of space or need something that's a little bit more expandable or adaptable than a, than a sort of conventional tube head. It's a really cool idea. As I said, I, you know, I knew that this was being worked on, but actually getting to see it as it's finished is, is really cool. One of my favorite features is the nine volt power on the back. I think that's really, really cool. It's very thoughtful. Um, one of my other favorite features is just the way it takes pedals. Now I know that's not necessarily a feature per se, but the way it takes pedals, just like the real Duchess, it just handles it and it sounds really good. Um, so I'm really impressed with that. Uh, and also trying it through different cabinets with reverb and delay and a few different guitars. Quite clearly, it's a versatile sounding amplifier. Uh, it feels weird calling it an amplifier when it's that big. Generally, I'm happy. I think it's a great idea. I think Victory did the right thing here, bringing out a product like this. It seemed like the right thing to do after the V4 preamps. Um, and hopefully we'll see a Kraken in the future. But the other thing I was gonna say was, if you're in the market for something small that can you can add to your pedal board, that you can tour around or just you know put in your backpack and do a gig with it. If you only use one or two pedals in front, then it's a great idea, great, great addition. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And of course, I'll link everything in the description box. But thank you to Victory for sending this over. Like, subscribe and share, and I will see you all very soon.